I've been meaning to make a video about how I started running as a complete beginner. Quite literally the best race, and the best thing I've ever done. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you're looking to start running in some way. Before I wrote this script, I typed Couch to 5K into YouTube. I stopped at 14 videos, because with an average watch time of 15 minutes per video, that was over three and a half hours of viewing. And I still genuinely didn't know what the Couch to 5K challenge actually involved. This is my second attempt at running. When I started running in October 2020, I was 40 years old and weighed approximately 22 stone. So I'm going to try and attempt to share what the Couch to 5K is, how I would attempt it, and its benefits in real time. I'm not a fast runner. My 5K PB is currently 6 minutes 54 seconds per kilometre, which is 34 minutes 31 seconds. So I'd like to see if this challenge will help me improve this. Before I start this challenge, I'm going to have some basic rules that I'm going to follow. I'm going to try to stick to my local area. I'm going to download and use the NHS Couch to 5K app and podcast. The link for the podcast and the NHS Couch to 5K website will be in the description. So this is week one, day one. Uh, I've had a good walk to get here. So the challenge today is, according to the app, is a brisk five minute walk. Uh, and when it says brisk, it gives an example of walking to work or walking with purpose. And then it's gonna be a 60 second run followed by a 90 second walk. And I'm to do that for 20 minutes. And I've also got my headphones on and I'm listening to the NHS podcast. Uh, I'd highly recommend this as a tip for doing the Couch to 5K is to download the NHS podcast uh, and follow it in your headphones. Because when you're doing the, the walking, the running, um, when you're doing those repetitions, it plays you music and it, and, it, and it gives you instructions when to stop and when to start again. So you haven't even got to time yourself. Um, but I'm gonna do that now. This is, this is, as I say, week one, day one. We're gonna get this done um, and then we're gonna do it three times this week. I'm Laura. Welcome to week one of the NHS Choices Couch to 5K plan. So now we're going to do the 60 second run followed by a 90 second walk and we're going to do that non-stop for 20 minutes. Let's go. Week one, day two, complete. I've done the two days. Day three, it feels like a day to push it. I'm listening to the app. It's only 60 seconds and I'll tell you when it's time to stop. Are you ready? You can do it. Three, it's now time for two, the 60 second one, run. Go. Oh. A little bit faster today. Not much. Just enough to be able to keep talking whilst running. Okay, so that's week one, done. Okay, so this is week two, day one. Um, it's fairly early-ish, it's about 7.30. Uh, it's actually a Sunday morning, and my field that I plan to consistently run on is currently full of mini league football plan for this week is, hang on, I've got it written down, as these weeks go on, I think there's probably going to be 
two things that are gonna be make or break for success of this as a challenge for anyone starting out running. First one being consistency. So having these plans on a calendar or on a piece of paper on your fridge, just so you know what days you have to go out. Tip number two is, what's tip number two? Is rest days. So if you're completely new to running, take breaks in between your sessions. And then the third tip is if you do end up in one of these weeks missing or skipping because life gets in the way, don't beat yourself up over it. You can repeat that week. So if you've got up to week three and then week four hasn't really happened, you've maybe done one day out of the whole week, start week four again. What is going on with my hair? Welcome to week two. I'll tell you when it's time to run and when it's time to walk. Get ready. So this is where we start running. Let's go. But your breathing shouldn't be laboured. Uh, it's a little bit sunnier today. No less windy. So I'm going to stick to the roads that I ran in day one mainly because the field's still quite busy. It's got all of four people on it. But I quite enjoyed running on the roads. I do prefer running on the roads than I do grass. Anyway, I'm waffling. Day two, week two, let's go. We now walk for 90 seconds and run again. Go. I'm doing it downhill now. <coughs> First set done. Now I'm going to do that same set again. So let's skip to day three. Okay, this is week two, day three. It's about seven o'clock. Um, it's also really, it's been raining a lot today. That combined with work, I've decided to do a really quick couch to 5k session now. Five minute walk, let's go. So that's the five minute walk done. So now we're gonna run. So we're gonna do a 90 second run, so let's go. So that's the run done, we're now gonna walk. Okay, there's the walk done, run, go. It's starting to rain quite heavy now. And then we're gonna do that repetition one more time. There we go, that's week two complete. Day one, two, and three done. Oh, let's dab. Right, here we go. Week four, day one. This is a nice and early morning one. It's about 7.30. Sun is nice and bright today. Wind is so much better. I'm feeling really good. This is where it gets serious. I'm looking forward to this. We begin with a five minute brisk walk, which is what we're doing now. And then we've got three minutes of running, 90 seconds of walking, five minutes of running, two and a half minutes of walking, three minutes of running, 90 seconds of walking, and then five minutes of running. That's a lot to remember. So if you haven't done so already, download the podcast and do the running using the podcast because it will tell you what to do and when. Get ready to start running. You managed 90 seconds last week. Well, this is the same again. Keep it nice and steady. Don't go too fast. Off you go. Three minutes of walk. No, I pushed that quite fast. I'm struggling to talk. That's the three minutes of walking done. Nope, that's the three minutes of running done. That's the walking finished. Go. Okay, so week four, day two. We've had absolutely horrendous weather. 
Federal Met Office has issued a rare red weather warning. We had that storm, Eustace, at the end of last week, and there was no running in that. I'm not risking an injury. Today is a glorious sunny day. There's a bit of a breeze. It's about 10 degrees, so it's not too bad. And, and, I have Scarly with me. Come for a ride with me. <laughs> we're gonna go, we're going for, oh, so windy. That wind really hasn't dropped. We haven't had a windless day. So I'm gonna do my sessions on the way up to the Thames. So we've already done our warm up walk. I'm not gonna keep filming them. This is the last run from day two. It makes such a difference running in the sun. That's the end of day, what day is it? Day two. Yeah, it's good. It makes a huge difference doing it in the sun. It feels really good to be out running. No rain, no drizzle, it's not cold. Um, I'm a big fan of this Couch of 5K. But the best part is knowing when you can stop. <laughs> oh, stuck to me. Easy peasy. Okay, so I've decided I'm gonna cheat a bit with this couch to 5K. I don't know if it is cheating, but I've decided to do day three now. It's the same day. So I've just completed day two, and we've walked up to a very sunny Thames Park. Sunshine, blue skies. Please go away when I go outside. Get to the top. Oh, parkour. <laughs> my shoes have no grip in them. Oh, my knee. So, this oh. is week five, day one. Um, in my last clip, I did week four, day two, and day three in the same day. So, this is now the day after. We're at Coalhouse Fault, which is an old. Um, fault Second World War, I think it predates Second World War. Anyway, there's a nice footpath that runs from here along the Thames, which is where which is where we're stood now. We're gonna start the session. Um, Scarlett's with me again and we're gonna we're gonna do yeah day one. Let's do it. Okay, we're halfway through. I've been overwhelmingly positive about this experience. I think it's a great way for a beginner to start running. And I think I would have enjoyed this more back in October 2019, doing it this way, than forcing myself to run for 30 minutes every day. Because as I've said, psychologically, when you know that the end is, there's an end of three minutes, five minutes, whatever, you know it's ending. So you can keep pushing. That's it, that's day one, week five complete. Do you wanna go home? Welcome to week 
5 of the NHS Choices Couch to 5K plan. There are three different runs in week 5. Start with your brisk 5 minute warm up walk. Now for the first of today's two runs. So this is week five, day two. The weather, it's been raining all night, all morning. Time now is about 10 a.m. Today, um, I took a rest day yesterday, completed day one, two days ago. And what it is today is a five minute brisk walk, eight minutes of running, another five minutes of walking, and another eight minutes of running. So the time, running has now significantly increased and then next week it gets even longer i'm actually quite looking forward to week six seven and eight because the runs just become runs and that's where you really get into testing yourself to see if you're ready for your 5k and i'm i'm, I'm looking forward to that as i said previously the reason why i'm doing this challenge is because i started running for the first time in october 2019 so that was about 14, 15 months ago. And I did a challenge that I saw on YouTube, which was called the 30-30 challenge, where I ran for 30 minutes every day for 30 days, non-stop. So no breaks, no rest days. And it was a fantastic challenge. I really enjoyed it. But I think I'd have preferred this. I think this would have been, I don't want to use the term easier because this isn't an easy challenge, but I think it would have been better for me being how unfit I was, how heavy I was. I hadn't run since I was like 18, 19. And to do this challenge would have been, I think, a much better way of getting into it slowly. It's time for your second run. It's another eight minute light jog. Don't go too fast. Three, two, one, go. Oh. So I quite fancied a trail run today. This is week five, day three. But as you just saw, that's the start of the trail run from the main road. Um, it's still raining now, to be fair. I've been looking forward to day three because it's the first time I've got my list. Just to give you some context, up till now, they've been walks, runs, walks, runs, walks, runs. But now, today, very simply, is a brisk five minute warm up walk and then 20 minutes of running non-stop that's it that's 20 minutes done that's week five complete <laughs> So this is week six, day one. And today, I have it ready now. Uh, week six, day one is a brisk five minute warm up, then five minutes running, three minutes walking, eight minutes running, three minutes walking, five minutes running. The fourth day now of constant rain. That's an old second world war fortification on the Thames so I've come to the Thames yeah so I'm gonna come and run along here today just mainly because the paths the paths aren't slippery at all I can stay on concrete for the whole of this session just for transparency this is about three miles from my house this place and uh, I've run here so I've, I've already done my warm-up but I'm gonna follow the program obviously when you're doing this I, whole, I wholly recommend doing it from your front door. Just leave your front door, start your five minute walk warm up, and then just run. Um, I mean, if you've got 
it's really drizzly. If you've got a, um, what are they called? If you've got an indoor running track, indoor running track, what are they called? Treadmill, Jesus Christ. If you've got a treadmill indoors, which I don't have, um, I prefer to run outside. I think nature's a big part of this. So last week, week five, day three, was a 20 minute run non-stop. Day one of week six, we've gone back to intermittent sessions and it builds back up again day two and day three, which I think is a great way of doing it. So let's get going. <laughs> Week six, day one, complete, done. Seven miles today with couch to 5K session in between. I'm quite proud of that. So I've just started week six, day two, eight minutes of running, five minutes of walking, and then eight minutes of running. It's a really miserable, cold, wet, windy day. Gray, look at the sky. I'm really restricted to where I can run at the moment. I haven't got a lot of footage today. As you can probably tell, I'm not really in the mood for it. This weather is really starting to hack me off. But the run's been done, the day's been ticked off. We go again tomorrow. See you the next day. Here we go. So week six, day three. It's a very simple one today. So today is 25 minutes of running. I mean, no walking, no breaks, no intervals. It's easy. Been looking forward to this. It's still grim. It's still raining. The paths are still waterlogged. But let's go. So that's 25 minutes of running. Um, that was really good, I really enjoyed that, it didn't stop. Oh, I can barely speak now. I will say, when I'm walking back, I'm on to week seven now. I've only got two more weeks left. Then we run 5K non-stop. Running for this period of time, so 20, 25, 30 minutes, is, is a big impact on your body. So one, one tip, one piece of advice, take rest days in between. Get those rest days completed. If you're an experienced runner, or if you've done running, or you run in the gym, or you go out running with your friends, then this probably won't be a bigger challenge. Or if you're watching this, and you're somebody who's never run before, or hasn't run for a long time, are overweight, unfit, which is where I was, then this will be a big challenge. And the three barriers you will have Barrier number one will be your time, which will be the biggest excuse you will use is I haven't got time today. I've got work, commitments, children, you know, they're all valid excuses, but you, if you want this to work, you need to find the time to make it happen. Second will be overcomplication. So overcomplicating what it is that you should be doing. Keep it simple. Don't add in extra challenges. The NHS website is a very, very simple, you know, program to follow for the couch to 5k. And then the final barrier is your fitness levels or exhaustion. If you're doing this, it gets harder. It doesn't get easier. It will get harder. And don't think that because you're, you've, you know, you've completed weeks one and two and you've got to week three and it's significantly harder for you to complete. Don't blame yourself for that because it's intended to get harder. So the tips to overcome these challenges, number one, commit to it from, from a time perspective, have yourself a structure. And then tip number two to overcome the complications, download the podcast and you will achieve it. I promise you, you will achieve it. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Anyway, that's week six complete. Fingers crossed that we get better weather. Welcome to week seven. You'll need to do the run in this podcast three times over the next week before moving on. This is week seven now. This is where it gets interesting. So no more walking intervals. I'm doing the five minute brisk warm up. I'm back on the field where I started. The intention 
was to remain on this field. But after doing week one, I realized that wasn't gonna be realistic considering that every single week afterwards, someone's been using it to play football. I'm gonna do it on here though today, just as a change. It's still raining, it's still cold. I'm not talking about the weather anymore. It's just trying to find a period, A, where it's not raining and, which has become a bit of a pipe dream, sunshine. Back to what I'm saying. So week seven, I'm gonna read you what the NHS plan says. For the runs in week seven, you will begin with a brisk five minute warm up, then 25 minutes of running. From now on, the plan gets you used to running for solid blocks of time without distraction of walking intervals. I'm telling you now, at this point, the walking intervals are not a distraction. Oh, it's a farmer's field. I haven't run on this before. And there's a reason. And it's because it will break my ankles. This week, three days of 25 minute runs. Okay. Okay, this is week seven, day two. The problem is if you wait too long to go out running, if it's raining or cold or wet, you lose fitness. So it's important to stay consistent and stay to plan. Unless it's absolutely torrential, I recommend investing in a waterproof running jacket and getting it done. Anyway, week seven, day two, same as day one, is 25 minutes of running after a brisk five minute warm up walk. So the last day of week seven. This is the third 25 minute run non-stop. Next week, it moves from 25 to 28. That extra three minutes doesn't sound like a lot. It will make a difference. Especially if you're not used to running for that long. The rain is really starting to come down. It's starting to get heavier. Um, so I'm not gonna do a lot of filming for this run. I'm just gonna get the 25 minutes done. My muscles feel quite tight today. So I've just had a bit of a jog just to try and stretch them out a bit. Anyway, I'm waffling. Let's do this. That's it. Week seven complete. I just got back. It's just started raining really heavily now. Yeah, this is, I mean, I'm, I'm really tired. I think tomorrow I'm gonna have a rest day and then we start week eight. Yeah, I'm on the banks of the Thames today. That way is the estuary, that way is to London. I'm gonna run this path today. I'm gonna run up towards um, London. There's a nice clear path. It's a bit undulating up and down. So what I've got to do today is the 28 minute day one run. Uh, I'm gonna take it easy today. I'm feeling it a little bit. So I'm not gonna push it too much. It's very mild. There's hardly any wind, which is fantastic for filming, great for running. So I'm really looking forward to this. I'm feeling it. I'm really looking forward to completing the challenge. I'm gonna be sorry to see this challenge end actually. I've really enjoyed it. It's been really structured, which is, which is very much unlike me. Having this structure for a challenge has actually been novel. We've got three days now until we complete that 5K challenge. Yeah, I'm just genuinely really looking forward to this as you can probably tell by my enthusiasm now. So let's get on with it. If the sun comes out, even better. So let's do this. Right, 
Okay, so this is week eight, day two. Uh, I'm back on the Thames. So weather update, the day, today is a bit drizzlier. Yeah, looks really misty. It's a really gray overcast. Oh, there's a clipper over there. Uh, really looking forward to it. Enjoyed day one of week eight. Um, this, is the, this is the penultimate run, second to last run. And it's 28 minutes, non-stop running. Yeah, let's get on with it. This is the last day. I'm going to run this because um, I've got work later. I'm going to get this done and then we're going to go for the 5k probably tomorrow. Okay, here we are walking along the Thames wall. This is probably about a four mile stretch of concrete path. You can see behind me how wide it is. Perfect for running on. Not so great if you've got people coming the other way. Training over and done with. We finished weeks one to eight. Now it says on the NHS plan, this is week nine. But all I've got left to do is run my 5K. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. Once I reach the one mile mark, that will be my warm up. That would have been a mile walking to get the legs ready. And then I'm gonna run my 5K. So 5K in miles, or in old money as my granddad would say, is 3.1 miles. Anyway, I'm waffling now. I'm nearly at the mile mark and then we go. 5K, let's do this. That is the end of my 5K run. A couple of things happened. Firstly, because I've not been recording any of my runs, I forgot to record on the app until I was 10 minutes in. I could have very easily have stopped and just done it again. I only realized, but I was doing really well and I was going at a really good pace and I know these I know these routes um, really well, so I know exactly where the three mile mark is from where I started. I definitely ran 5k. It may not have been exactly 3.1 miles, so that wouldn't be an issue. I'll be celebrating on here now saying I've done it. But the second point is frustratingly, and I wish I stopped now uh, and turned the app on because I ran the best 5k I've run in a very long time. It was really, really fast. It felt fast. I didn't record it. I don't know whether that was fast because I never recorded it. I uh, and whether my mind is playing tricks on me. I have two options. I can either take that, don't put this in the video, and then just go, I did it guys, 5K's finished, challenge complete, thank you for watching. Or I can put this in the video and I'll do it again tomorrow. And I try and run the same as I just run there. I don't think that was slow. I think that was quite fast. My current PB for 5K is 34 minutes and that felt faster. So how I edit this will depend on whether or not I go out again tomorrow and run it. Because if I run it again now, I've just put everything into it, especially that last half mile. I pretty much sprinted that. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna run the 5K now or if I'm gonna leave it and run it again tomorrow. I think I'm probably gonna do it tomorrow because I want that to be a fast one. It'll be good for the video because I think this training has helped. And it'll be great to be able to end this on a PB. You'll find out in a few seconds. So 
So the sun is now out and it's been three days since my 5k attempt. I've decided to try again. I've given myself a break. I hadn't had a rest day from completing the challenge to try in the 5k run. So what I'm gonna do today is we're gonna try and run that 5k. The sun's out, but it's bitterly cold. Really, really cold. But at least the sun's out, I can't complain. The wind is really bad today. I've just got my GoPro. We're gonna go for the 5k run and we're gonna see how we get on. Let's do this. This week, you can finally achieve your goal. Running for 30 minutes non-stop, covering around five kilometers. Ready to run? Okay then, off you go. crying and everything. Oh, I've just finished a 5k. I just threw absolutely everything I had into that. Oh, my lungs are screaming. I'm absolutely gassed. I finished it. Six minutes, 34 seconds per kilometer. So this is now just a few days after my 5k attempt. I'm just sitting down to edit the video. I finished it. Six minutes, 34 seconds per kilometer. So I've just realized what I've just said. So I didn't think when I was making this, when I filmed this and I ran that 5k and I finished, I had a quick look at the app and I didn't think I'd beaten my PB. I think I matched my previous PB. I was beating it all the way up until the last kilometer. And the whole point of doing this 5k run here was to try and see if I could beat my PB. Oh. <clears throat> I threw everything at that. Oh. But I will say, this challenge has really helped me. That's a minute and a half shaved off my PB. That is massive, that's huge. Because that was there to be broken today, I could have done that. Oh. Carrying the GoPro didn't help. Anyway, these are excuses. I am not upset about running my PB time. Oh. I need to go in now. And if you can see that, just there, let me see if I can make it focus. So just there on the app, you can see six minutes, 34 seconds, 5K, 32.54. So now that I've got the camera up and running, I wasn't gonna film this bit. I was gonna end the video on this, but I just wanna say that this challenge was a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Um, it was really structured. So if I keep on training the way I'm training, it should only take me a couple of more months to get below 30 minutes for 5K. So that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. That pace, 5K at 6.34 is my new PB.